Diddy Up. What's in my Diddy bag? Stick around and we'll find out. Hey guys, Rob here with R Pelton One. Thanks for tuning in once again. I greatly appreciate it. You know, on every trip that I go on, and I'm sure you go on too, you pack all the essentials. You know, you need your shelter, whether it's a tent or a hammock and your sleeping bag and you know, your backpack and everything, but there always seems to be all the random little stuff that you need, you know, from you know your first aid kits or your toiletry kits and all just a little random stuff. And a lot of times you find places to put them. And that's why something called a ditty bag was, you know, kind of uh, first coined. But um, I was going to go over my ditty bag with you and a lot of the random stuff that I carry on every trip. Uh, and some of the stuff in here you may find useful. If you have any tips on what I should add to it, let me know down in the comments and I greatly appreciate it. But I'm going to dive right in, get it all laid out for you. Well, let's take a quick peek. So on the right side of your screen, the actual bag itself, I picked up one of these Eagle Creek travel toiletry bags. It's lightweight, it's got all the different compartments for me to organize stuff because I, I just like things to have a kind of a, a specific spot, certain things anyways. But I picked this up from REI. Uh, not sure the price or, or the weight on it, but I'll list the, the weight uh, of this down in the description. But simple little thing, packs into nothing. And then in it, as you can see, are just some of the basics. And on the far left, I keep in there is the toiletry kit, which is very basic. The trowel, hand sanitizer, toilet paper, that's all you really need. Grab this whole bag, go take care of your business. First aid kit, these are gonna be the bandages, tweezers, you know, uh, tape, uh, like uh, poison oak, poison ivy scrub, things like that, so you, your basic medical stuff. And then in addition to the medical kit, here's all the medications I carry. Um, I did a video on my first aid kit that I carried. Uh, I can put a link to that right up there. But since then, I've revamped that kit quite a bit because it was way too much stuff. But here's a bunch of medications, you know, because you just never know. I, I have a little bit of a prepper mentality <laughs> for that. Uh, and then to continue with the, uh, the medical stuff, I do carry an Israeli bandage. It can be used as a pressure bandage, as a tourniquet. You just never know. Um, this is one of those just-in-case items that I, I feel that it's worth carrying with me. Ace bandage, if you're going on longer hikes, you get a little tweaked knee, something like that. Something like this really, really helps. Doesn't weigh much, doesn't take up much room. Uh, so very good to have. You can make a splint out of it, anything like that. My thermometer from Accurite. I love this thing. It got down to 53 degrees here last night, um, uh, which we're, uh, we're camping now. Um, but love having that information available. Headphones, music, movies, pretty, pretty standard. Sunscreen for the times where I actually do have to wear it. I usually don't, but it's always good to have. A tick key. Because this time of the year in the woods, you're going to have, you know, a risk of ticks. And these things are supposed to help remove ticks without it uh, um, ha leaving the head inside of you. Um, I haven't had a tick, but if I ever do, it's good to have this. Other basic things, toothbrush, toothpaste, carry these little flosser thingies, majiggies, which are awesome. I love these things. Earplugs for if you do camp with someone who's snoring <laughs> or if it's just way noisy out, really good to have. And then basic things like your hot lips for my mug. If I'm going to drink hot beverages, I like to have these with. And it also will work as a, as a pot holder as well. I have two of them. Extra lighter. Sharpie, and then of course chapstick. I mean, that's really it. Super basic stuff, random, but it's all good to have in one single place. So that does it for this episode of Gear Talk of what's inside my ditty bag. Now, if you have any questions about these items, feel free to leave those in the comments below. And I don't know, let me know what you carry in your ditty bag down in the comments as well. I'll be sure to read those and respond. But I appreciate you watching. If you want to check out a couple of more of my videos, I'll post a couple right over here. And if you want to be sure not to miss any of my gear talk videos, gear review videos, trip videos, be sure to subscribe right down there. And I do have an Instagram account where I post a lot of the pictures of the trips I go on. And you can follow me on Instagram right up here. But I appreciate you watching, and we'll see you on the next one.